In this video, I'm gonna show you what the 99% rule is for SEO, and it's the only rule that you need to know to get up to the top of the search engines, and this is uh, helping you get more visitors, uh, less bounce backs, and really this is what WikiHow used, the same methodology to get $60 million worth of free traffic per month to their site. If they had to pay for this traffic, it would be worth $60 million per month, anywhere from 45 to 60, it goes up and down depending on the competition and stuff. But this is really uh, a not a complex uh, procedure and really an easy thing to do. And a lot of people aren't using this because they're looking for the complicated thing. And and if you actually do this and work on this and, and do a good job, you will be at the high, highest of the search engines for whatever keyword you want to, want to be on. Um, it's just a, a simple six-step method. But first, let's get into um, what you need to ask yourself before we get into this. And that's, what does Google really want? And that's a really good question because Google is the one, let's be honest, that brings in all the online traffic. So what does Google really want? And it comes down to one word, relevance. Google wants relevance. So if you want to be on the top of the search engine, your site has to be relevant for people who are searching. So for example, I typed in Los Angeles attorneys and it looks like lacity.org came up. And that's because of the 99% rule. 99% of the people who click on this or try to find it or the majority let's just say um are that is the most relevant to google that's what they want the majority and i use 99 percent as what you should use as your psychological premise of of trying to think of what you need for keywords we'll get into that shortly but before we get into how google uh, determines your site is relevant within the searches let's talk about other what other people are doing and that you should never ever do um, and this is what typically happens when hiring seo companies first you get all these keywords you know or people say hey these are all the keywords i want to rank on and this really happens all the time with us people say hey i want to rank on all these keywords software and this and that and really uh, most of the keywords are not, they don't represent the site at all, you know, or they kind of do, but not 100%, you know. And uh, for example, we are working with this company, and we're partners with this company actually too, um, and they thought of using a keyword, best dating sites. And uh, what happens is they will post, uh, Google will put you on the searches for best dating sites. And when you look at the best dating sites, people really want the best dating sites. They want maybe some reviews or whatever and, uh, and that to come up. So when people go to the site, and let's say you use the keyword best dating sites and Google ranked you on the second, third page of it, and you go to the page, people are gonna get bored and they're gonna bounce off like Tigger. And uh, so how does Google know your site is relevant? Well, one way is the time the user is on the page, and this is called engagement. The more engaged the user is, the more Google will want to rank your site higher on the search engines. So how does Google know if people um, are engaging on your site and your site is relevant? Um, and they'll put you on the search engines. Let's say you put some meta tags and keywords for some, key, some, some keyword that you want. And then Google will send a little bit of traffic to your site as a test, and then they'll time that traffic, time people, how long they're on the site, in, in relevance to the content, how much content's on their site. So if you have you know, a lot of paragraphs and a lot, a lot of things that people have to read, well, Google has a bunch of algorithms that determine, well, you're probably gonna have to be on that site for like five, 10, 20 minutes, or even an hour for you to absorb most of that. And if you are on that site, for a long period of time, they'll rank you higher and higher. The more time on a page, the better. That's the keyword. The less time on the page, the more likely you'll go down and down and down on the search engines in relevance to uh, the content you have on the site. So that's the general rule that we're kind of using. So what should you do? That's the question here. The goal should be to get your people excited to be on your page, really. That's your goal. They should come to your site and it should be like Christmas and like, oh my God, I got exactly what I want. And that's what Google wants. They want people to go, I'm typing in something and I'm getting exactly that. I'm getting the best of the best 
uh, results for that keyword. So remember, Google is doing all they can to so people can't trick them to do this. And how do you do this? Well, first you have to ask yourself, who are you talking to? What are they searching for? What keywords are they using? What do they want to find? 99% of the time, and this is really, really, really important. This is the premise of the video and what's going on here. So what keywords are they searching for? You're going to use that in your uh, website. You're going to put those keywords that they're searching for that's relevant to your site and only those keywords that are relevant to your site. Typically, I don't like to have too many keywords per page. I like to say this is three to four keywords that are relevant to this page, this site, and that's it. And what people tend to do is they tend to fragment uh, their home page and they say we're this and we're that and we're this you know you don't want a lot of that you want to say we're generally this and this is what we are we're Los Angeles XYZ or we're very specific about this your other sub pages within the site now you could fragment that and you could say okay that's specific to this so you'll have a dentist and he says well I'm a Los Angeles dentist but then he could have other pages that talks about maybe oral surgery or uh, root canals and stuff like that but you don't want to put that on your site unless you're a very uh, specialist at root canals if that makes sense um, so what keywords are, are they looking for so they could find you and uh, what do they want to find 99% of the time so think about it so if 99% of your target audience would not use that particular keyword the rule of thumb is do not use that keyword period I see so many people trying to do a lot put a lot of keywords on their on their page and it's just not working um, so what will happen is people will go to your page they'll get bored and they'll bounce off like Tigger again you'll go down and down on the search engines and that's not good what you want to do is and here's the six steps number one have the right keywords on your page okay like we talked about number two get placed on Google as a test and we help you do that you could place on blogs you could do a little backlinking and stuff like that to do that you could go into other videos that teach you how to do backlinking but you really want to just let people know about your site put it on Facebook and stuff like that and let people know and then Google will see oh they got some traffic let me rank them a little higher they'll test you out and then people will go to your page Google will see the people go to your page and they'll see that they're getting exactly what they want this is a fourth step and then you'll get ranked higher and higher they stay on that page Google will rank you higher and then people will start even sharing you so this is really really good and Google wants to see you better engagement and they want to see that people are sharing you even more and they see that as a sign that your site is very relevant to that specific keyword and then they'll push you higher and higher up on the search engines and then you don't have to work so hard trying to do all these technical stuff trying to hire these big companies for six seven thousand dollars per month and stuff that people hire SEO companies to do all these things and what happens is you'll get ranked high you'll the people the Google will notice the contents not relevant and then you'll get dropped down again and then you have to go over and over through that same process with every single keyword so that's horrible so this is the traffic building magical formula that will get you and bring you in tons and truckloads of traffic to your site and simultaneously this is what's amazing about this it's gonna create a buying frenzy so if you have something you're buying or you want to upsell people on you want to get their email list whatever it is this will create a buying frenzy because this is relevant to them and they're like this is exactly what I want so there's a lot of people who have sites that are ranking high they're not doing any advertising and they're getting a lot of traffic because they're giving relevant content think about what you want when you go to Google you want to have a relevant information you're really like a researcher first before you buy anything you want to kind of research sniff a company out see the reviews you know and everything and that's what you really want to want to do for your client and your customers and your users because not only are you ranked high in the search engines but people actually like your con uh, content what a concept right and this is what makes people happy this is what makes Google happy and this is how the world is going around and around now and it, it's actually a really good thing you know not trying to trick Google and give great content that's actually a great thing because um, 
And that's exactly what WikiHow does. And WikiHow uses other procedures and other things to do that. But that's the consensus. That's the overall how to get ranked on the search engines and how to get like $60 million worth of traffic. Of course, they have a lot of content and stuff, but that's how, how they do it. In the next video, if you're interested in more details of how like WikiHow does that and stuff like that, I'm going to show you exactly the nine-step method to get ranked high on Google and YouTube that brought in over $7 million for my clients personally and took less than a year to build. So it, this actually works. So place your email to the link below and get this, uh, get this video. Um, uh, and really, I truly hope you really did like this video. I mean, I, I put a lot into it. I thought about what works for my clients and stuff. And remember, always be creating high value content regardless. That's the trick to being placed on Google. That's the trick of the new economy of getting rich and stuff. It really does. I have a lot of clients, a lot of testimonies that show that. So place your email below to get access to this next video so I can show you the nine tips, uh, steps you must take, and I will see you on the other side, um, um, and I'll talk to you very shortly. All right.